Clement Sombrew coming at you on a very hot day. It's a hot day. It was just showing a few minutes ago 102. At the moment, it's showing 100. There you go. In Oregon, no rain, heat. I don't know what that's about. And uh, I've gotten my workout in today. I've been pressure washing stuff to get ready for some painting. And I think I've burned off enough calories that I can have a beer. <laughs> So here it is. Now I thought this was going to be a light beer in my, my defense and I'm seeing that it's not the case. <laughs> this was brought to me from uh, one of my good friends, Jim. And uh, thanks Jim for this. It is the Highlight IPA from Cigar City out of Tampa, Florida. So this is an American IPA. It's 7.5% ABV. And uh, Highlight. So why did they name it Highlight? One time uh, Highlight was a very popular sport in the Tampa, Florida region. Uh, some might know that it was originally uh, native to Basque, the Basque section of Spain, a section I'd love to go visit. Anyway, we're going to get this one cracked open and give it a try. Hoping to do this quick so that uh, it's still cold, so it might be a little aggressive on the pour there. There it is. Beautiful two-finger head. <laughs> Just a little aggressive. That's a really pretty, that's a nice uh, slightly hazy orange with some brown hues to it. Really nice looking. Let's get a nose on it. Wow! Okay, lots of fragrance immediately coming off of this. I mean, immediately you get some big citrus, particularly orange and orange rind, and a bunch of tropical notes. Oh man, that's nice. Yeah, you get you get some grapefruit on there. You get some orange and orange rind on there. You get uh, uh, some other stuff. You get like tropical. So there's a little bit of pineapple and some mango on there. It's got a nice sweet base on it. You can tell it's, uh, uh, but like I say, mango, a little bit of pineapple, you know, that nice orange. It's a really good orange, a little bit of grapefruit, the orange rind, the, uh, some, you've got some pine that was on there as well that I picked up. And uh, just a slight dankness, just a very light dankness on it. It smells delicious. Cheers, we're gonna dive in. Holy cow. Holy cow. That is tropical citrus goodness right there. I mean that, that that's one of the best IPAs I've had in a while. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. It's it's a medium mouthfeel, and that orange and some herbal orange coats the mouth big time. Oh my lord! And you got just the right amount of, amount of bitterness on it. You got some nice bitterness on the back end, not heavy. It's balancing it out and it's drying it out on the back side just beautifully, making you want to dive in, especially on a hot day like this. This is beautiful. The only dangerous part is it's 7.5% ABV. Everything I said in the notes, and then double it. I mean, the orange on this is explosive and beautiful. And this is probably not the freshest thing, but so that might explain why I get a slight herbalness to it too, but the orange on it is just beautiful. And as I said, you get sweet orange and you get sweet orange peel. You get some grapefruit on it. A little bit of the bitter grapefruit on there. You, you get a bit of that pineapple and the mango, maybe some passion fruit. I mean, it's just an amazing beer, full flavored, light dankness. Oh, uh, hints of pine. So I'm gonna sip on this for a little while and we'll come back. So today's July the 30th and the can is marked May the 18th. So this is just over two months old and tasting like this, I cannot imagine what this would taste like fresh because this is fabulous. Okay, there's the proof. It's back to 102. I told you. And this is what the doctor ordered. The missus, she's over here with a big old plate of watermelon. It's a warm day. And, well, it doesn't get much better than this. As far as rating goes, wow. I really think this is the best IPA that I've had this year. To be really honest, I, I really do. The flavors are bright. The fruits are clear. You know what they are. And, and they're just juicy. And, and I've described things as juicy. I've heard people talk about juicy. 
This is one of the most juicy beers I've ever had. Truly, I have to rank it really high on IPAs. Even at two plus months, I am giving this one a straight up 97. This is a spectacular IPA. So I let the missus take a whiff and she's not big on IPA. She already had this like sour puss face, you know, just as it was coming up to her nose, but I love it. But she's a good sport. So anyway, what are we gonna do with overall? Wow, uh, I, I just dig on this. I'm digging on the spirit. This is a 95 overall. This is something I could, I could pick this over many stouts. And you know I love my stouts. I promise you, it's not just the heat talking. This is one of the most juicy IPAs I've ever had. It's the Highly IPA from Cigar City Brewing out of Tampa, Florida. I earnestly suggest you check it out. I suggest you send some to me because I'd like to have more of this. <laughs> I don't do that, but wow, I'd love to get more of this. Jim, thanks again. This is Kevin from Clemens Homebury saying life's too short to drink cheap beer. And I will see you on the next beer review.